Welcome back guys to another video and if you did see my last video it is time to open up this big delivery Wow from eBay and it's just chock a block full of Arsenal shirts so yeah if you're an Arsenal fan you're gonna love this video and even if you're not an Arsenal fan stick around it is pretty big that's what she said <laughs> so without further ado we're gonna crack it open hi guys quick little interlude just to let you guys know that I now have an Etsy page so yeah I've recently set up an Etsy page and if you guys don't know um, I did a degree in illustration and for that reason I want to be an illustrator and this is my first step towards living my dream essentially so as you can see on the page there are t-shirts posters and a like and prints of my own oil paintings um, so if you are interested um, in football art because that's what I focus on please have a check out of my Etsy page you don't even have to buy anything to support me all you have to do really I'm just asking really you don't have to but if you could spread the word around that I'll create this page even just go have a look yourself that would really I really appreciate that I'm trying to get my foot onto the art ladder trying to achieve my dreams so yeah if you guys could just check out the page that would be absolutely smashing and let me know down in the comments if you like my stuff or not but yeah there's quite a lot of stuff on that page to have a look at but yeah let's get back into why you guys are here and let's get on with the show shall we as you can see here guys this is a big ebay purchase from here from a guy off on ebay and yeah he sold a lot of his Arsenal awesome shirt collection off to me i'll put the price up on screen now and yeah i thought that was pretty big it was what isn't even 50 quid i purchased all these for and there's like 10 9 shirts in here so that works out less than like quick math less than like 10 pound a shirt so yeah can't go wrong with that and there's some absolute bangers in here <laughs> yeah boy so guys we've got the box open as you can see it is very well packaged in there so very much appreciate that and i'll keep these for my own amusement let's be honest and as you can see guys here is the shirts and yeah I'm very excited for this as you can see on top there is really nice shirts already that you can see so the seller said all the sizes vary greatly and the conditions vary as well. So we've got some that are in good condition, some are in poor condition, but every shirt is size small to medium apparently. So let's hope we don't get shafted okay. like we did when we ordered our last box. So keep fingers crossed, hopefully the football gods are kind to us. But let's get the shirt, first shirt. First shirt in the box is a shirt I featured in a recent video, but this is obviously not the same shirt. But this is once again this lovely Arsenal away shirt. Obviously, I'll show up close up shots on the screen after opening every shirt. And yeah, absolute really good condition. I can't see what size it is. It looks like a size small to me, but the size is completely worn out. As so as the Henri on the back there, but that's quite easily fixed. I'm gonna just buy an Henri name set and that will fix that up right and jolly. I don't know what size this is, it looks like a small, I don't think it's going to fit me, I don't think, um, if it does fit me I'll keep it, but I don't think it's going to, I think it's a size small men's, but yeah, first shirt, first decent enough find, just need some work done to it, but we can jolly well fix that up, can't we, yes we can, because we know what we're doing, so, well, sometimes. So as you can see, this shirt is currently on Class Football Shirts for £124. Obviously, the Henri on this is fixed, but we'll just have to buy another Henri name set. That'll cost us around anywhere from £20 to £30. So even with that fix, it's a proper bargain. Next shirt is another classic Arsenal shirt here. It's another shirt that's not in the best of conditions. We have this shirt once again. So we're not going to keep this one and it is a very common issue on this shirt is that player much sponsorship wears off and in the comment once again i can't bloody see what size it is all of these shirts should be authentic um yeah this one is also authentic as you can see in there i think this one's also size small looking at it 
It's definitely not a kid's one because the on the kid's shirt you can tell the badge is smaller and the, the sponsor smaller. Um, so it's definitely an adult one. It's just a size small one, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, probably get about fifteen pound for that in that condition. Not great because the wear on that, but that's very common for shirts in that era. Era, if you didn't know already, but yeah, two shirts now, two classic ones. We go to eBay for the next shirt. As the sponsor's ruined, I thought it'd be easier finding one on eBay. And as you can see, one sold for £16, so I was about right with the £15 price tag. Up next is another shirt that's featured in a recent video. It is the Arsenal Way shirt from the Invincible season. This one's in a lot better condition, as you can see from the pictures. There's not really anything wrong with this shirt that I can see right now. Not really any staining or anything like that on it. Um, size small, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Doesn't help that literally all of these shirts have the size that's completely worn out, so I'm kind of having to guess right now. Once again, it is real, um, so that's good. Um, the seller's correct on that. Once again, I think this is a size small. I had this shirt in a medium, and this definitely doesn't look the same size, so I'm guessing this is a small again, and yeah. Really nice find, we've got some absolute crackers so far, really happy with this box. Nice. Um, this was kind of a mystery to me, I kind of um, bid on it, um, but I can't entirely remember, because I bought it a few weeks ago, so I can't entirely remember uh, what shirts are in this box. So it is slightly surprised, I knew obviously back when I bought it, but not anymore, but yeah. I love a cracker in now, I think the fact that this box only costs £50, pounds, we've already got those shirts granted, they're not in the best of conditions. I'm still quite happy. So the next shirt is quite an easy shirt to find. As you can see, we found it on Vintage Football Shirts for £125. You've got to take into account that this shirt is in a medium, so there will be some discrepancy between the price. But the equivalent, this box only cost us £49 entirely. So, yeah, great find. Up next, we have a less popular Arsenal shirt now, and at least it's got a size in it. We know this is size small. It is the Arsenal. I'm pretty sure this is Arsenal's first ever Puma shirt. Really not a fan of this shirt. Mid! I didn't buy it at the time. I do have it now with Alexis on just because I'm trying to collect every Arsenal shirt. Size small. Someone will buy it. Probably like £10, £15 pound this shirt. It's not a very popular one. But we did win the FA Cup that season. So it is special in its own way. But we did wear the away shirt. So yeah. Oh well. It's not a great shirt. But fond memories of that season anyway. So we found this shirt in the exact same size, which is size small, for £29.99 over on Class Football Shirts, and I'm honestly surprised they're selling it for that much. Up next, we have a home shirt version of the shirt we've already pulled up. I think this is going to be another size small. Once again, the size is completely worn out. And yeah, I think this is a small once again. This looks more like a kid's one, I think. Yeah, you can tell. This one's definitely a kid's, there's no virtualized boys because of the collar there. It's split up there and the badge is a lot smaller. Shirt overall is a lot smaller, so I'd say this is an extra large boys. But yeah, you can, extra large boys, you can usually get away with if you're a small men's. They're kind of similar sizing. Um, the only difference really is the length, uh, not really pit to pit measurements. But yeah, quite happy with that, still worth a bit of money, maybe like 15 pounds. Um, so yeah. Still think that's a really good one. Once again, at the end of this box, I'm gonna go through how much these shirts would have cost me online and elsewhere and see if we'd make any profit from this. This is fairly easy. Already sold it for 12 quid, so yeah, 
worth 12 quid. There you go, easy peasy. Even though it's mostly an Arsenal box, I pretty much have all of these shirts already. Um, so I'm not going to be keeping most of them. And the way I buy football shirts is I'll buy them to sell them to fund more. So I spent quite a lot of money this month for football shirts, as you've probably seen in my last video. So we're going to try and sell most of these. Hopefully they sell quick. And yeah, let's get into the no shirt. Up next is a cotton shirt. This is from, as you can see here, the Arsenal Heritage Collection. So this is a remake of the Invincible shirt right here so yeah really nice cotton shirt there not too shabby as you can see it's got the same design as that Invincible season shirt this is a size medium as you can see there this shirt's probably worth about 10-15 pounds I'd say I don't know if Arsenal Direct still sell it I'll check anyway but it's also got on the back which I think is pretty cool I don't know if that's you could do that in the shop or not because I've never bought one of these Arsenal Heritage shirts before um, but the shirts, the name set is slightly cracked on there, but it's still a pretty cool find. Um, this is one I, I didn't remember was in the box, so it's pretty cool. A nice cotton version of that Arsenal shirt from Invincible Era, so I think another good find. We've only gone and bloody well sold this one as well. This one sold for £14 over on my Depop as well. So yeah, nearly made half our money back just on two things. So clearly it was a wise purchase. Up next we have a Puma number and if this is in my size I will be keeping it. Yes, it's a medium and I don't have this Arsenal shirt already. And it is another Puma number. This is, I remember Meza Ozil ripping up the uh, Champions League. We're back in it now. But it's been a long time. Uh, Meza Ozil ripping up the Champions League, scoring that infamous goal he scored in this shirt. Really nice shirt. Actually, this is probably one of my favourite Puma shirts. It's actually one that is really nice. And if Ali does release it, I think it would have a lot more um, love for it. I think it's really nice. It's really nice. Once again, this is. Authentic, as every shirt in the box so far has been, and yeah, what a shirt. This one's in pretty much perfect condition considering the, the fly emirates perfect there, not really any pulls or anything. It, you can tell by, you can tell a shirt's in really good condition, hasn't been worn a lot by the inside, because these wear so fast, as you can see on the other shirts. But this one's, even the neck tag there, the sizing is perfect. No staining at all on there, so. Yeah, really happy. This one I'm going to be keeping. I'm probably going to put Urzil on the back. You've got to off that goal, really. Don't you? And I don't have an Urzil shirt already, so yeah, really happy with that one. As you can tell, really happy so far. So yeah. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. I think there's only about three shirts left. We've been through a lot already. It's very hot and sweaty in here, and it's not just me. It's the weather. So yeah, let's finish this box off. Last three, and let's crack open another shirt. So apparently vintage football shirts are very liberal with their pricing because this shirt have sold on their website for 50 quid. Never knew this shirt was after that amount of money. I think it's quite nice though to be fair, so quite happy with that. Up next we have the return of that Invincible shirt, but this time we have the original one. This is not in the best condition at all though. There is so much, this has been worn a lot. This has had some love. This is another extra large boys to me, because you can see by the sponsor. This isn't in the best of conditions there. There is some marks on the sleeve there, look like ink marks. But yeah, decent enough condition. I don't actually have this shirt, so if this was in a medium men's, I'd definitely be keeping this. I used to wear this shirt, obviously not this exact one, but I had this shirt when I was a kid. I used to wear the living hell out of this shirt. Um, so I really need to pick this one up in an adult size, but obviously since it's probably one of the most famous Arsenal shirts ever. It's quite hard to pick up for a good price. 
Um, it's got more staining on the sleeve. This one's not going to be worth that much, probably like a fiver, if that really. Um, but yeah, really cool shirt anyway. And we have a Colin Weaver shirt and the original one. So I think the seller of this probably grew up at the same time as me, judging by what size the shirts are. But yeah, let's get on to the pronouncement shirt. As it was in a terrible size and in terrible condition, sold it for six quid. Nothing more to say there. This is another cotton Arsenal shirt, and it is the base on our first one of our first ever shirts. I might keep this one actually. I don't have this shirt at all. Really nice cotton shirt in really good condition. Obviously, you're only going to be able to buy this one because you're not going to be able to buy original because they didn't make replicas in the 30s. It's so obviously got one of the OG Arsenal badges on there. Definitely going to keep this one, actually. Obviously, that red current design based on shirts of this era. Yeah, really nice shirt. Definitely will be keeping this one just to chill out in. Nice cotton, breezy shirts. So, yeah, probably good for the summer as well. So, yeah, be keeping that bad boy as well. On to the last shirt. And I can see it in the corner of my eye. And this one I don't have, so I'll be definitely keeping this if it's not a size. Very much struggled to find a price on this one, but I'm keeping it anyway, so it's all right. It probably only been about £30 anyway, so let's go. Up next, we have the rather really nice, really nice, rather rare one, actually. Um, as you can see, guys, it is this lovely shirt here. Away shirt from the late 2000s. Check the authenticity, but all the rest of them are real, so I doubt this one's going to be fake. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. Because that wouldn't make any sense why this one would be fake. Um, I'm not sure at all. I think this one might be fake. You know, I think we might have been caught up by the last shirt. Um, as you can see, that is not the proper tags in there. Oh, gutted about that one. It's the biggest piece of dog shit. This was the one I was most looking forward to in the whole box. I don't have this one, but I'm going to say judging by the Arsenal badge as well, that's not the best. If we show up a real one and next to this one, you can probably tell this one's fake. But one out of ten ain't bad. It's just confusing how this one's fake, but the rest of them are real. Um, maybe this uh, the guy the guy clearly didn't know. You can see there's the fake one, there's the real one. You can see it's so much better, so much more crisp in that one. As compared to this one, it just looks wonky, especially down here. Look at that. It's atrocious right there. Oh, fuck. I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, this is definitely fake, unfortunately. So we'll be donating this one to charity, I think. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, it is not real. A bit guided about that. Um, that definitely isn't a real Nike tag down there. Trust. There's no, not anything there. So unfortunately, the last one is a fake. But... That isn't too bad at the end of the day. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Here's the total how much the box cost me, and if I was to resell all of these shirts, how much I'd make. I'm taking into account also with this price of the conditions of all of them. Most of them not in the best condition, but they're pretty decent anyway, so I think I'll definitely make a profit on this box. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and I hope you guys stick around on the channel. And yeah, see you next time. TGFN. Peace out.